Hi, this is Monica from Unique Designs by Monica. And today I'm going to show you how to create this train using basic shapes using uh, Cricut Design Space. So let's get started. We're going to start with a simple box or square. We're going to take it off the lock and we're just going to elongate it just a little bit. Not, not too much. And we're going to duplicate this three times. Let's just make sure, let's just put this a little smaller so that it could fit in our our little uh, workspace. I'm gonna just move this just a little bit further out in between. Okay, now we're gonna grab us ourselves another, another square and we're gonna unlock it. And this is gonna be our caboose area or a passenger car, depending on how you wanna look at it. And we're going to align these two horizontally. Now they're perfectly aligned. I'm going to weld these together. Now for this car, uh, this would be for when uh, the conductor or um, the, I don't want to say engin engineer, but whoever shovels in the coal, that's <laughs> the compartment. It's, oh, I didn't want to weld this. I wanted to slice this. So you grab these two images and then slice. And then you remove the unwanted areas. Alrighty. And then let's get in the engine part. So we're going to first uh, put the cabin area right here. Have this a little too tall. Let's just make this a little smaller. Now you can make this as big or as short or as small as you want. This is going to be your train, so you can make it any way you wish. And that looks pretty good. Let me duplicate that one more time and shorten it just a little bit. And duplicate this one more time. This and this will be welded together. And this area is going to be elongated. So I can show the roof right like that. Let me move this a little further and connect these two. Let me weld them. Okay. Now this part right here is just the window. So let me make, make it a little smaller. Oop. Let me move that back so I can see what I'm doing. And slice. Okay, now I can move the inside portion and that's my little cabin area. Now I'm going to grab myself another square and I'm going to elongate the the area of the train just a little bit and also giving a small little lip at the bottom like right there. Nothing too big. Just like that. It's not going to really matter this portion right here because we're going to cover that right back up. And weld. Yep, I just needed that small little lip. Now I'm going to grab a circle and I'm going to elongate this. Alrighty. I see I have a small little lip right there, but nothing to worry about. Okay, let's weld. And we can always cover that up by using another shape. And there we go. So if you ever have any problems, just grab another shape and you can cover it right up. <clears throat> now I'm going to do the front portion of the, the train, the, the rail, or I'm not quite sure what they're called, but it looks like a grill. On the on the front of the the train all right and I'm just all I'm gonna do is just slice this off like so slice it's coming along really quickly and all I'm gonna do is just attach it to here and then weld and there we go then we have the front portion 
And all we need now is just wheels. Now you can do the wheels one of two ways. After you're done creating the, the front, the middle, and actually I said the back, middle, and the front, you can do one of two ways. You can leave the wheels right on top like this or you can have them uh, look more like it's um, very defined. Let me let me just see if I can articulate this a little better. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Alrighty. So let's duplicate this and I can show you what I mean. Once I have these two areas, I am going to weld them and then I'm going to slice. So let me take these out and then I'm going to make these smaller to fit right in here. Actually, I want to make sure they're exactly the same. So you can do one of two things. You can have them look this way or you can put them, oh, grab the wrong wheel. Just like that. It's really all up to you and how you want your train to look. I'm just giving you two different options. You can even um, do this. There's different methods to get the same result. Weld. So if you are putting this on a shirt and you don't want guides, you can always weld these circles together and then place whatever vinyl you want right on top. As for this, as for the, the main front of the, the train, I'm going to make a larger wheel to fit right in between right here and a tinier wheel. Just like that. You can have it pop forward or you can move it back. Either way, it looks pretty good. So there you go. Oh, well, one last thing. If once you actually are completed with your image, your SVG, it is always good to do some maintenance work with your colors. So if you're gonna cut all of your files out of one color, make sure you weld them together that compresses the file to all those files, all those those layers that you just saw, they get compressed into one. So when you cut it, they'll show up on one mat. Now, if you don't want them all lined up like this, let me go cancel. I believe you can nope you can't attach no i guess that's how it would actually look it was trying to do the optimal position so if you want these to be fitting right on your mat how big did i make this i made this 15 inches no wonder it was so long now it's seven this should fit on a 12 by 12 mat so let's make it yes see it all depends on how big you have your image so make sure that once you're actually completed, do a bit of maintenance, um, uh, chain together, and then weld the images that will be on one specific mat. That way you don't have so many different mats for one particular color. If you like what you see, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, I do post on Wednesdays and Saturdays, so feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell the button so you can be notified when I actually post. Thank you so much for stopping on by. Have a good day.